Well, good morning guys. Thanks for tuning in again. Um, this morning, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about my tow car and, and why I choose the, the vehicle I've got. Well, over the years I've had several tow cars and um, you know, some have been more successful than others. They've all sort of done the job one way or another. But um, there's definitely a big difference in performance, handling, and overall comfort, depending on which tow car you choose. Well, obviously you guys aren't aware yet, <clears throat> but I thought I'd give you a rundown of where it all started for me and how I started out in caravanning and the tow car I picked at the time. Well, when I was 19, my first tow car <clears throat> was a Peugeot 106. Well, up and you're thinking a 106, a Peugeot 106, never. No, no, genuinely, my first tow car was a Peugeot 106. Basically, I was only young. Insurance was very expensive. You know, being a sort of 19 year old, it's really expensive to insure a car. So you you always have to have like a one litre little car. Now, we went camping for the weekend once to Nuki Wales of all places, and we loved it there. But obviously in a tent it was okay but I mean when the weather's not great I mean the last thing you want to do is sleep in a tent so we thought well we need a caravan but obviously insurance is expensive we hadn't got that sort of money so we you know we had to have a look around well we went into a, a caravan dealer in Cannock it's gone now it actually went into liquidation I believe but anyhow we was having a look around there and we, we spoke to the, the sales guy and said We've only got a Peugeot 106, we'd love a caravan. It's a shame there's nothing we can tow. And he says, well, that's not true. There is a caravan you can tow. Well, there's actually a couple, but the, the one, we've actually got one. So what is it then? He says, it's a Freedom Microlite. Anyway, we trotted over. And there it was, a Freedom Microlite. We couldn't believe it. It's a tiny little thing, but you put the awning on, and you popped up the roof and you know you were warm dry and fantastic well anyhow we bought that we bought the, the, the freedom micro light we only had it for about six months but it, it really really did get us hooked on caravanning um we went all over the place with that lake district here there and everywhere and we, he got us hooked anyway then i get <coughs> get given a company car which was a, a ford Oh, God, was it a Ford Escort 1.6 diesel? Well, that was it then. The, the, the Freedom Micro, it got to go. As much as we loved it, it wasn't the biggest caravan in the world. I'll put a link onto Freedom Micro like, just for you guys, just out of curiosity if you haven't heard of it. Anyway, so then we ended up with a, a um, Sprite Musketeer. Um, it's got like rough sides, so it's a nightmare to polish. But you know what? We had that for about 12 months or however long and you know we were away we were we were caravanning that that was it that we were hooked you know i mean the beauty is we could go away for weekends and we didn't have to put the awning up in that caravan because it was big enough we were using it sunshine gold it, it didn't make no difference we were going away and we were going away regularly and we loved it then <clears throat> i swapped then i was given another company car and at this point i think we were into the renault lagunas I had, a, had several Renault Lagunas, but I remember it was a 51 plate white Renault Laguna, and I think it was a 1.9 or two litre, I think it was 1.9 actually. Um, great tow car, that, you know, we were well away then. And then I bought uh, a Swift Rapide, I think it was it, Swift Rapide or something like that anyway. And we loved that caravan. It had got double bed at the front, you know, lounge area at the front. And it had got a side dinette with two bunk beds, one on top of the other, with an end washroom. And we, we, we felt like kings in there. We absolutely loved that. And we actually bought that caravan when foot and mouth was on. And I think I kept that caravan for three years. I bought it from a dealer, and you kid me not, I sold it for a thousand pound more than I paid for it. Three years on, and foot and mouth. It was a nightmare of a time for caravanning because a lot, a lot of places, you weren't allowed on the fields because of all the restrictions. Anyway, 
great times. Well, anyhow, I've had a few other tow cars over the years, but that's the basics of it. Now, let me tell you why I chose the tow vehicle I've, I've got. Well, if you go onto the Practical Caravan Tow Car of the Year and What Car Tow Caravan of the Year and all those sites, the, the vehicle that wins the most, you know, one year it'll be this vehicle, the next year it'll be that vehicle, but the vehicle that wins has won the most times over all the, the years is the Land Rover Discovery. Now, I've got absolutely nothing against a Land Rover Discovery, but I don't really want a 4 before. you know, it's just my preference, I don't really want to drive a 4 before. I, I, I mean, uh, you know, I'm sure it is the best for, for driving a caravan, you know, you get stuck in the fields and everything else, it's going gonna, it's gonna to drag it off beautiful, but obviously you've got the additional expense of fuel, you know, the big size parking it, lugging it about and all that, And but that's, you know what, it's been several times I've actually considered having one, I mean, it's English, you know, I mean, we, I should have one, I suppose, but anyway, I've always decided not to do it. Now, what I like is just a big executive four-door car. Now, if you go into that sector, which is the, the car that has won it the most times over the years, is the Mercedes E-Class 350 Avant-Garde estate now i've got nothing against estates it's just it's not for me I, I don't want an estate if you've got pets or whatever then brilliant get yourself the estate but that's not what i like i like a saloon where i can put my things in the boot shut the boot nobody has any idea what you've got in your car you can have the crown jewels in there nobody knows you know if you get an estate and you put a bit too much in you've got that little sliding canopy thing and it's up, it's there for the world to show. That's my opinion why I don't like an estate. So <clears throat> I go for the four door saloon. So I went for the Mercedes E Class. Now in the Mercedes E Class range, there's the 200 diesel. This is you got to have the diesel because you need the foot pounds of torque because that's what it's all about when you're towing. Anyway, so you got the 200, the 220, the 250 and the 350 flagship one which is the one i went for and boy do i love this car i mean like i said to you before when you're towing you need foot pounds of torque and this car is not sure to them it's so powerful but it's it's just effortless to drive i mean it's silky smooth you know it's so quiet yes you'll hear a bit of vibration at the minute as i'm driving it's nothing to do with the car it's because the phone is stuck to the glass of the window and it, it's, it's, you know, makes a little bit of a noise. And I've got a roof rack on at the minute with all my bike racks, but even that, I can barely hear it. But you will hear it a little bit more because of the, the glass. This car is phenomenal. I mean, it is really quick. I mean, 0 to 60, I think it's 5.9, six seconds or something. You know, it is really fast. But it's not about that for me. I mean, yes. You know, it's nice to have a powerful car because they're just the effortless. But when you're towing a caravan, it just makes the the job so much easier and more enjoyable. I mean, I don't know whether you guys know it, but if you're going to Torquay or Paynton or Dartmouth or around that area, and you come off the um, M5, and oh, I forget the road, whatever it's called anyway, you go up one hell of a massive hill and trust me it's a nightmare now i've had tow cars where i'm struggling to get 25 30 40 miles an hour up there with this the 350 cdi you just leave your car on cruise control 60 miles an hour you don't even have the hills there you absolutely have no idea the hills there it just sails straight up it sorts it all out for you there's none of this changing down and piddling about and stuff. You know, I mean, I'm not exaggerating, but I reckon I can get 90, 100 mile an hour towing a caravan up that hill. I genuinely do. I've never tried it, obviously, so I don't want to get in trouble. And I don't particularly want to crash, you know what I mean? But I genuinely think it would tow it up, no problem. You know, I've never tried I'm, I'm convinced it would. Anyway, 
it's not about the power it's just about the enjoyment and the relaxation and and everything else I mean the other thing is about the, the E-Class I mean I didn't buy brand new I bought it second hand I got a good price but the residuals they're pretty good now the poor bugger who bought it before me he was a doctor and trust me did he lose some money I mean it, it shell from like 50,000 down to god knows what else in, in the first year or two I mean madness I mean you lose the VAT the second you drive it off the port court well, the VAT on a £50,000 vehicle is £10,000. So we lost £10,000 by driving it off the forecourt. You know. <clears throat> and you take your Ford Mondeo, two litre. It ain't going to touch this. Not a chance. You can stick your foot down in there. and you can, Nothing compared to this. Nothing. The comfort. And repair bills. I mean, fingers crossed so far. I've had nothing horrific. Cute tyres. Brake pads, that's it. I've hardly spent anything on this car. It's, it's, it's been golden. Um, you know, you guy who's driving your Ford Mandeo, I've got nothing against them. Don't get me wrong, if you get given one as a company car or you have to buy it for yourself or lease it or whatever you do, you know, go and enjoy it. You know, great car, I'm sure it is. But if you want the ultimate tow car and you don't want a Ford before, go and get yourself a Mercedes E Class. Anyway, guys. That was just a brief introduction into the tow car world. Please subscribe, hit the notifications bell, and I'd love to see you again. Cheers for tuning in. Bye.